Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, today we're going to show you how to install the uh, ACC uh, C6 door guard. Uh, very simple installation. A um, couple of uh, things uh, that you do have to do, however. Um, one of the most important things about this installation is forming the panel and preparation. This door panel is made of a, a composite material that is designed from GM to be sort of stain resistant. Um, uh, so as a result, um, you know, we're going to be sticking something to something that doesn't want to be stuck to. So you really have to do a, a couple of things to, to, to get that to work. Now the first thing we're going to do is, is scrub it down with uh, some rubbing alcohol. Um, this is going to make sure that there isn't anything like uh, any kind of treatments or anything that, that might compromise the bond. Uh, you do want to really scrub it, scrub it, scrub it again because of the nature of the plastic. Now once that's done, you have to further uh, scuff the surface to increase the surface area. This is also going to help to bond. Uh, so we, we've supplied you with a little piece of this uh, scotch pad material. It's a, kind of a, an abrasive pad. What you're going to want to do is just kind of scuff this down. You want to try to stay within your, your body contour. You don't want to exceed that and scratch this in an area where you're going to see it. Um, so you just want to kind of stick to the to the area. Be careful. Stay in this area and scuff this down really good. Now this isn't removing anything like wax or, or contaminants. What this is doing is it's increasing the surface area. That's what's going to help bond also. So then once you're done with that, you'll go ahead and, and clean it again. Remove all that particle that you just sanded. Make sure it's clean. Now, the next step is to see how well you've achieved a, 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 a tacky surface. You can do that by applying some masking tape and seeing if what kind of bond you have, which it's still pretty good. And that's about all you're going to get on, on this type of material. On other surfaces, um, you know, your tape will stick pretty good, but that's about all you'll achieve. Once you've gotten that, that slight tack, the next step is to apply some adhesive promoter. This is a chemical that comes in your kit. Um, it's not a cleaner, it's an, an adhesive accelerator. Um, it's a chemical that's actually going to soak into the surface area of your plastic and once it dries it's going to lay down a nice perfect bondable surface for the adhesive to stick to. It's very important and critical to a long term bond. So inside this pad, pouch here you have a little sponge and a little watery fluid uh, which you'll apply. You'll kind of squeeze this out and just kind of take a, a single swipe like so. You don't really need to saturate it as much as you just need to do is just to put a single application just like that. Now, the next part of this installation is, is very critical as well. And that is to take the panel and perfectly match it to the contour of the door. Now, our, our part is going to come to you pre-shaped. Uh, but it is absolutely imperative that you, you take that shape and you, you further shape it so that you actually have a perfect bond. You see, you don't want any resistance of the metal. So what you're going to do is you're just going to shape this a little bit so that it matches the contour exactly. Um, if you take the time to do this, this part will stay on there for as long as you own the car. If you take a shortcut, what will happen is down the road this might end up popping up on you and it's going to be kind of an annoying situation. So once you have a nice shape like this, you can just go ahead and, and set it in. Peel the uh, red release liner from the back. And then carefully set this in place. You're going to align this front top molding right with the top of your door panel and let it ride off. Um, 
generally runs right from the point. Just press it on like so. Let me know. 